Hello friends! I'm back and today I want to talk to you about one of my favorite things to do at Disney World which is eat. And more specifically our ADRs for our next trip in September. So just a little background information. We're going in September for 10 nights. We're doing our first five nights at the Grand Floridian and the next five at the Boardwalk. And we're renting DVC points so we got like a really good deal like really good rates for those nights and we are not on any dining plan um there's nothing wrong with the dining plan there's nothing wrong with not using the dining plan it's just every family's preference and ours is no dining plan um also i have everything written down in this book so sorry if i'm looking at it a lot but it's a lot of stuff and i do not have it memorized and i probably won't <clears throat> okay so our first day we're going to the Magic Kingdom and I have breakfast for us at Be Our Guest. I'll probably cancel that reservation. Um, we did breakfast at Be Our Guest in April like a week ago and we weren't like super impressed. We've done it once. We have a dinner reservation there later so I'll probably cancel that one. So, um, what are your favorite breakfast places in the Magic Kingdom? We've done Cinderella's Royal Table, Be Our Guest. We haven't done Crystal Palace. And we're also considering 1900 Park Fair that morning since we will be at the Grand Floridian. So, let me know what you think we should do. Um, for dinner, we have a reservation for Liberty Tree Tavern, which I'm super excited about because we've never been there. And I love Thanksgiving, so I think that's going to be amazing. And then our next day is a rest day. And we're having brunch at Narcoosie's, which I'm super excited about because brunch is like my favorite hobby. I was going to say meal, but. <laughs> and actually, I'm having a mimosa right now because it's Saturday morning, so why not? So, then we'll just hang out at the pool that day, like hang out at the resort. And then for dinner that night, we're going to Ohana. I've been, but Seth has never been, and I think he's going to love it. So on our next day, we have breakfast at Cinderella's Royal Table at 8.30. So hopefully we'll be able to get in around 8, still maybe a little bit earlier than everyone else since they've changed the way they do the show and everything. Um, we'll see. And then for dinner that night, we have Be Our Guest. And for lunch, we'll just be like kind of snacking or eating quick service. We always go to Casey's. That's like, if you go to the Magic Kingdom and you didn't go to Casey's Corner, did you really even go to the Magic Kingdom? Like, I don't think so. <laughs> it's our favorite. So, um, and I've been to Pecos Bills. I wasn't really crazy about it. I keep telling Seth that it's gross and that no one likes it, even though I know he'd probably love it because nachos are like his favorite food, but I just don't like it, so I don't want to get here. <laughs> That's terrible, but, um, so what are your favorite magic service, magic service, magic kingdom quick service? I want to know. All right, the next day we're going to Animal Kingdom, and we only have one reservation, and that's a Rivers of Light dining package for lunch at Tiffin's. And that was a really tough decision because we went to Tusker House for lunch last time, and that was like our favorite meal of our trip. Not last time in April, last time in November. So not exactly last time, but anyway. Um, so I love trying new things, but it's... It sucks sometimes when you have something like that you really like and you want to do again, but I've heard good things about Tiffin, so hopefully we'll like that too. And I know there are going to be a new, um, like, quick services in Pandora, so we'll probably just have snacks and, like, have dinner there. I'm super excited about that. Okay, the next day, we check into the boardwalk and we're going to Epcot. And we only have one reservation, and that's for breakfast at the Garden Grill. I don't really make reservations during food and wine, because I know we're just going to be, like, eating the whole day. And honestly, that's what I prefer. Like, I want to just try everything instead of, like, sitting down and having a meal, like, lunch or dinner, and then you're full, and you can't eat that much of food and wine, which is really why you're there, right? That's why I go. So... That's that. The next day is going to be a resort day at the boardwalk. 
and we're doing the um, Bon Voyage Adventure Breakfast with Rapunzel and Flynn Rider and Ariel and Eric at um, Trattoria? Trattoria? I don't really know how you say that, but it's the Italian restaurant at the boardwalk. And then for dinner that night, we're going to the Flying Fish. And I've never been there, so that'll be fun. Um, the next day, we're going to Hollywood Studios. We only have a lunch reservation, and that's for 50s prime time. Seth has never been there. I've only been there once. I didn't have the best experience, but it wasn't really because of the food or the service. It was just that the people that we were sitting by was like a party of 10 and they were so loud like we couldn't hear our server we couldn't hear each other speak so that's that but I don't want to hold that against the restaurant because I had nothing to do with them so I want to try it again hopefully we'll have a better experience this time I usually just go to sci-fi because I love it but we're gonna you know this is all about trying new things so that's what we're gonna do then the next day we're going to Disney Springs for like the morning to afternoon and we have a lunch reservation for Chef Art Smith's homecoming. Then that night we're planning on going to Mickey's Not So Scary Halloween Party. They've released the dates but they haven't released the tickets yet. So hopefully we'll be able to get tickets before they sell out. I don't think it'll be a problem because it's in September but we'll see. And then... The next day, we are having breakfast at Cape May Cafe, and then we have to go home, which is really terrible and really sad. And you may have noticed that if you were counting, that was not 10 nights. But one day, we're going to Epcot without any reservations at all. Just, you know, probably do quick service breakfast and then eat around the world at Food and Wine. And then one day, we're not doing anything but going to Hoop Dee Doo. And I'm super excited because I get to meet Michelle from Way to Sun. Yay! Can't wait. Um, but anyway, what do you think about our choices? Have you been there? What did you like? What did you not like? What should we try? Um, what are your favorite quick services? Tell me, like, your top quick service in every park. I feel like we usually do a lot of table service and then snacks. So like we'll have two meals a day and like a few snacks, but I want to try more quick service because I'm getting kind of sick of like just sitting in restaurants for hours. I mean the food's always good, it's always fun, but I kind of want to try something different. So let me know what you think and as always, Stinker is here causing a ruckus down there. Say hey Stink! <laughs> And I'm wearing um, another Happily Ever Tease shirt. It says, a beauty but a funny girl. And I am burning my Walter and Rosie afternoon tea candle. And it smells amazing. All right, everyone. Um, follow me on my Instagram at magical.mally. It's only Disney stuff. Um, and let's be friends. All right. Bye. Have a great weekend.